can't nobody touch your hair. Some of y'all be going to these shops and they be ripping out your hair. That make no sense. Why are you going there? Big Why are you going bag. there? Why Hey y'all, we got to talk oh, our yeah. ish. We got to talk our ish. I don't care what you think, cause it's about what we think. Let me stop. Period. <laughs> <laughs> so we about to give a list of opinions on you know the natural, the natural pro. Okay. Show us some love, okay? Show us some love, no matter what it is. No matter what it is, 4C, 4D, I don't care. Power to the people. Okay, y'all, so we're going to jump straight to the chase. The first one is people getting braids. And not just anybody, but I'm sorry, the Caucasian community. We see it a lot with Adele, I don't know. I mean, a lot of people wasn't bothered by it, but y'all know, I don't know. I don't think it's, it's, it's been getting real popular now. A lot of people starting to do it. Yeah, a lot of black people or African hairstyling. Exactly. And I think I You're think <laughs> that most people do not know that it is, it does, the hair, the stuff you do with your hair, whether it's braids or our hair holds some it's a type of ancient history. Yes, it does. It does. So for them to go get that and some people to be comfortable with that, you gotta ask yourself, you gotta ask your mom, I don't know who it is. You better ask yourself deep down inside of yourself. You better start calling on God, your spirits, everything, <laughs> because that is not okay. It's the, not. And when they get it, it rip out your hair and you wonder why your hair you, is you damaged. You got bald head yeah. and all that stuff. It's very important to us because it's what, it has to do with our heritage and our history, so. Yeah, it, it, it's, it's it not just something value. that you do. It holds it's a lot of value. It yeah. does, it goes way back. If you look in your history books, Find the white ones, not the ones that How about, wash. here's some homework for you guys. Find out the reason why we do protective, well, the reason why we wore, we wore braids back Even in the day. Even locks. Or locks. There's do it. this history and meaning behind all of those hairstyles, so. It is. Homework. Protective styles and wear wigs, okay. Number one, let me, let me, let me tell you something. Some of y'all be getting y'all hair done too tight. Y'all be looking like this. Okay, and I love protective style, but sometimes it's not meant for everybody, especially for me. I have to be real careful with me because for my 4C hair, tux hair texture, it gets real dry, so it can't be too tight. Because I remember back when I was in school, wearing those tight slick bags and doing tight braids, not allowing your hair to breathe is not it. Even sometimes when it comes to wigs, yes, it's perfect, but I think for in my my opinion. I think if you doing it like a lot, depending on your hair texture and knowing what your hair do, it could be, it can, it can break off your hair. Like you really gotta, if you moisturize and doing the proper thing, maybe it'll work for you. But I know for me, I gotta let my hair breathe and mm -hmm. let it do what it gotta do for me. Yes, minute. me too. And I agree with what you said. I don't have a problem with, with protective hairstyles. I have a problem with not taking care of your hair under your protective hairstyles or with your protective hairstyles. That's style. another thing. Because after that, you're defeating the purpose of the protective hairstyle. Yeah. The protective hairstyle is to protect your hair, but it can't do it all it's not magic so you have to grease your edges you have to tend to your scalp you have to take out your protective hairstyle in a timely manner because okay. if you don't you cannot expect your hair okay. to grow or thrive honey y'all better get okay. with it and don't be letting nobody touch your hair some of y'all be going to these shops and they be ripping out your hair that make no sense why are you going there Big why are you going there? why are you going research there research on who you gotta, you're going yes to. i'm telling you i'm telling you some people and then you know when you go to the shop they're, oh i can't deal with this type of hair let me yeah. go without no less no 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 no, no. Go if you can't deal with do my type of hair, hair do, do not, not go there do, do not go there that's what i'm telling you some protective styles yeah it's good when you be seeing them long braids that be hanging to your butt yeah it's pretty yes. but you gotta remember the process some of them some of them girls y'all be seeing that be looking cute i don't know it's today today society in the knotless braids you be seeing yes. a lot of people that look like us right with our hair texture and that junk be looking straight like it came out of like i don't know like puerto rican like hair like i don't know but if you looking it you know that they straighten that junk that's all i gotta say mm -hmm. you know that they straighten that hair so yeah know your texture and know, know the people. Know the stylists. Yeah, they're pulling that junk. Know what your hair can handle. Okay. 
Okay, okay. Copying YouTube's YouTubers product to product. I don't know if y'all know this yet, but your hair is not the same as everybody. Don't do that. Don't everybody's do that. We could recommend. Type is different. But everybody's stuff is different. Like, you might be following, that's what goes back also with knowing, finding a YouTuber that's more that has more stuff like your hair or has mm -hmm. similarities like your hair. Like, let's say if my hair is 4C with high porosity. I'm not gonna look at somebody that got low porosity and there's certain products that got certain stuff in it mm -hmm. that may be good for them but not good for you. You right. really gotta see how your hair reacts to those things. Cause I went through it multiple times even following people that had low porosity hair and they recommended products and the products was too light for my hair. Yeah. It wasn't too heavy for my hair. My hair needs that heavy moisture. It needs that deep conditioning. And some of the, pro the um, products they recommended for me didn't work. I had to go on my own and for me, what works is cream of nature for my hair. Mm -hmm. So certain things you gotta be careful with coming across certain people's stuff. Because sometimes when they recommend something good, yeah, you could try it. I recommend like, don't try to spend your money and buy the whole thing. Cause that was my thing too, trying to be cute. And buy yeah. shampoo, conditioning, the oil, you that, the whole pack. Try one by one. And then again, also don't be a product junkie. I'm a little guilty of being a product Me too. junkie. I'm sorry, y'all. Be, be a smart product junkie, okay? Like with me, at first I was not uh, not so smart product junkie. And now I, I will be a junkie on products that I know are good for my hair. Like for me, she her hair likes cream of nature, my hair likes Shea Moisture. I'm two a rock, different. Yeah, two different products. But I'm a rock for Shea Moisture all day because I know it works for my hair. Exactly. So be a product junkie on what works yeah, for your hair. Yeah, because I like. know I used to do that. Like, I already had the product that worked for me, Cream of Nature. I already found it out, right? And I still was going on other people's stuff, looking, trying to see, oh, let me find other stuff. Don't do that. You can try it, it's nothing wrong, but don't be trying to get all fancy and buy all the products and yeah. stuff like that. Cause your hair gonna put you on blast, your mm -hmm. hair's gonna react, <laughs> exactly. your hair's not gonna like it, your hair's your not twist gonna, grow, ain't gonna look and cute. your pockets gonna be low. <laughs> <laughs> it's gonna be down, it's gonna be low. down, down. Just don't do it. Yeah. Next is saying my hair doesn't grow. Oh my god. Do you hear that Shira? I don't think I did. Because <laughs> I strongly dislike when people say that their hair does not grow. African woman hair does not grow. Black woman hair does not grow. I think you I think you're looking kind of crazy, you know, saying that. For one, if your hair is not growing, Let's you're doing something drink. wrong. What? You it's on you. First of all, is you, is you dumb? Or what? Like, is you dumb? Or is you what? Is you dumb? Like, oh. you cannot, you cannot, if you're not doing a proper, if you're not doing a proper procedure, you need to check and back check your steps and what you think, uh, You okay? You think your hair about to grow down, natural hair grow this. Towards we grow in sun, baby. volume. We don't Towards grow our sun, hair down baby. like this. We are not, we're, we we cannot compare ourselves to other people. Yeah. Stop trying to think your hair gonna grow like this because it's not gonna happen. <laughs> it's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. Okay. <laughs> Number one, the first step to your hair growing is loving your hair and loving yourself. And what? You, it starts from within. If you don't love this yourself and the skin that you're in and being black and being beautiful and being a king or a queen, your hair is not gonna grow. It's not. Believe in yourself, boo. And then you need love to deep condition. You need to do all the proper stuff. And then some of y'all be skipping days. Months and then thinking, Mine. oh yeah, my stuff is about to be there. And do you be like, oh, I've been doing all this stuff, and do you only did one proper full procedure? And yeah, you can't even month. fucking breathe. Un <laughs> Stop. Yeah. Like, Stop with bro. the madness. Stop. Y'all is doing it to yourselves a little bit. Your hair is talking to you. It is. Yeah. My hair right now is telling me it's a little dry. So you need a low oil. Yeah. So you gotta make sure your hair you really does talk to you. Like you just gotta listen. You gotta listen. And everything doesn't work for everybody. Like it some people don't. can't wear it and 
and fight through tight hairstyles and others cannot like others suffer in tight hairstyles so you just have to know your hair and that's it like exactly I feel like your hair grows by the way that you learn it and care for it and know it but if you don't know your hair you don't want to learn your hair you too lazy to care for it your hair gonna be lazy and right you back gonna end up wanting to cut it oh my god yeah you're gonna go gonna be lazy right some back. type of hair depression where you're gonna want to do all kind of things to your hair because you think you're going crazy and you think you're in our y'all know jasmine from the last video get ready with me story time so we're gonna pick up where we left off <laughs> y'all <Aggie. laughs> we're gonna pick up where we left off um, use face. a certain hair tools mm -hmm. like i said that diffuser with the hand and stuff going in your hair that's not cute that don't work on my hair i don't care what nobody you got know the diffuser you're talking about the hand the thing. one that goes straight to your head the picture the right hand, here. The blow dry like Oh, the blow dry. Oh, the, the blow dry to make your hair curly. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, yeah. Like, for, yeah. For I like that. See. Everybody got their own opinion. I like that. I think it's really. I think I want to. I want to get one definitely because I feel like when you wear it curls out, it helps it bounce it up and makes that good like texture study. It's gonna be looking. You know how I be looking. Um, shrinkage. Like, I think that's gonna bounce it up. You put the thing on it. You go like this way. But do you think it's gonna go good for your 4C hair? Gosh. Well, I have never used that thing. She look like Harry Potter. <laughs> Like Harry Potter, the man Yo, in the Harry Potter. Thing. I have never. And Sherman just that. got this big. Um, That's some other thing about this. Shepard is big. <laughs> First of all, start First of all, why you exactly? What you look like? Mushroom. Okay. <laughs> yeah, mushroom. Don't come for us, Harry Potter. <laughs> in the big poop. Okay. <laughs> you said Harry Potter. <laughs> don't come for She's us. Like Jack being the beanstalk. <laughs> Oh my god, y'all. Y'all about to ruin the video. I like <laughs> That's why you put suction in your hair. You can just comb it like this. Yes. You yes. Just, that's a fact. Yeah, that's true. You have to section your hair. You, you cannot need work to do that. Yeah. Period. Section Because you're going to be pulling out a lot of your hair if you be doing big old chunks. Like, take a piece by piece. Like, please detangle gently. Like, you're just going to. It's not. <laughs> Big pieces, like, and then you hurt your head. Like, you <laughs> just, like that hurtful. <laughs> Why would you do and that? And then for y'all who be, be detecting, you it. use brushes. That's over. You use the brush with the little ball on and you done. Don't talk and to me. And then no it from the root down. No, <gasps> start from the bottom. Oh my god. I, even when Shiva said that, that just hurt my head. I mean, my yeah, hair Yeah, for hurt. real, that hurt. Mm -hmm. That's not cute. So yeah, section your hair and then going from the bottom to the top. Yeah. Makes you go like but this little girl just said diffusers is okay. That's not okay. I diffusers think the that big thing is for, yeah. for certain people. It's for certain people head. Yeah. Next is using heat. Stop. That's, I'm calling 911 on you. Let me get my phone. 911, hello. Hello. Stop using heat. For my hair, no. It's my pee. Oh my god. It gotta be the tool. The tool tore them. Tore them. No. I said no. Both of them cut them. Don't listen. It's over. No heat. Look at the Muppets. Joe, what you have to say for that? You could go first. Um. I feel like you could use heat, but yeah. you you just have to protect your hair. Like it's like a you know that gel, whatever that thing you call it, that serum, protective hair the gel. The heat serum that's fake. They use cow doo doo in it. <laughs> you always find it something ever. I feel like you'll do it all the time. Yeah, I feel like you get your fine. hair back together. Like you can get your definition back together. You want to straighten your hair sometimes, see the length of it, right? And then go back into what you use. I use a little bit of heat for this. It wasn't directly on my head, but I use like, y'all, I sell hair growth oil, Black Beauty Organic. It'll be listed right here. Thank you, small businesses, Where's black owned, black female owner, okay, right here. So yeah, I feel like if you like moisturize your hair with a good product and a protectant like Jasmine said, or even if you just use little to no heat, it'll be fine. Like I use, I sat under the dryer to get my hair to look like this. So I feel like it won't harm you. So tell me, tell me in the comments below, tell me, are y'all going to use it? Are y'all going to use, are y'all going to use that blow dryer? 
Are y'all gonna put it on your head? You better not use it all the time. That's too close for comfort yeah. for me. Like, like, why like why you head? Why why <laughs> imagine you like that? Look, this is the thing. Put that dryer to your face and see how it feel. Now you know how your hair yeah, feels. Yeah, so now you know don't use it. <laughs> put the dryer to your face <laughs> and see how it feels. Now if it's too hot for your face, it's too hot for your hair. Period. Please don't use a flat iron. If you're gonna use it, use it once a year. <laughs> Why are you laughing? Why are you laughing? I should go tell somebody to use a flat iron. Once <laughs> Well, you gotta know how to do your own hair. That's what I said. I know how to do my hair, so it's okay for me because I know how much heat my hair can take. I know the limit. So, if you don't know, I advise you research somebody who does know so that they can do it. But either use no heat or try to use heat and be careful. Look at the you. ugly little Harry Potter game. Like, I just can't. <laughs> Thank you for watching this video. I hope you guys are protecting your hair and loving yourself from the inside out. Get out. All right, y'all. Peace. Peace. Peace.